This is a two-stage audio amplifier circuit. It starts with a common emitter amplifier using a NPN transistor and that outputs into a push-pull amplifier built using a, another NPN transistor, actually two NPN transistors and a PMP transistor. And that outputs here to the speaker. <clears throat> And I can show you on the oscilloscope I've got it set up. The top is the uh, output signal, the bottom is the input signal. And I'll use this phone to put a sine wave through it. So that's a one kilohertz sine wave there. And I can adjust the sine wave and get various amounts of output out of it. I'm oh, sorry, different waveforms. One of the interesting things about it is the inverting amplifier. So this is the input here and this is the output. You can see that the output is the opposite phase of the input. The first phase, the common emitter amplifier does that. Um, you can see a little bit of distortion here. Uh, and if you're at about 530 or so hertz, the, uh, the output looks pretty much like a perfect sine wave, but if you vary from that, you can see it gets a little bit flat on this side and a little bit steep on this side and that's due to the speaker being hooked up. The speaker acts like a, a big capacitor and uh, the load gets reactive and it has varying amount of resistance at different different frequencies whenever the speaker is hooked up. So I can disconnect the speaker and when I vary the... So I'll put my arm on the cable there. When I vary the frequency now, you can see that the there's no distortion because that capacitive load's gone, um, and there's more amplification. The voltage is higher because it's not having to go across the the resistance anymore. And just to show you, this works with different waveforms also. Uh, Put the speaker back up. You can see that triangle's a little bit bowed out until we get down to about 542 hertz or so. 560 there. And then if we go lower it, it bows out on the other side. set it up to do a sweep. We'll go from 300 hertz to 800 over 5 seconds. You can see that distortion come and go. I'm sure there's ways to get rid of it, but I don't know how, so that's about as good as it gets for me right now. And that's it. Goodbye.